let's head forward here. We are very, very far in the game, if you haven't been able to tell yet. Because I have been saying ultimate weapon for quite some time. In fact, these are the last levels of the game coming up very, very shortly. Let's head into this door here. Uh-oh. I don't like the looks of this at all, do you? Let's head over to the east, because that way was the wrong way. Let us head this way. Here are the stairs. This is definitely the point in the game where the random encounters start getting very, very difficult. Like more behemoths. But now that we have our ultimate weapons, it's not something that we can't deal with. Let's head up here and get another ninja star. I will be using those. I know I've been saving them for quite some time now, but I definitely plan on using those. Am I a little scared that I won't be able to use them all? A little, but if we go over here, we do find another sword that looks like a ninja sword to me. Looks like a very nice katana. I want it. Give it to me. You think that you, the ones from the blue planet, can handle the, this blade of black Massimone? I sure as hell hope so. I've been going this whole way. Got Ragnarok and Excalibur, and we've got Ogopogo. And Ogopogo <laughs> used Big Wave. Now, I did heal everybody before this because Ogopogo uses Big Wave twice. And just about decimates the party. We're gonna go for Bahamut. And I'm just hoping that Rosa can get her turn in time to save everybody here. Come on, Cure 4! Cure 4 across the board, I need full health! Now once again, if you wanted to, you could start using uh, some of the throwing items here with Edge. Uh, this is definitely one of the toughest fights in the game, and one of the later fights in the game. Uh, I don't really feel the need to do that, though, uh, so I'm just going to keep using the same strategy that I've been using this whole time. I'm keeping Kane on the ground so that I can heal him. That is really the only purpose of him being there. Otherwise, I'd have him jumping all over the place. Let's go for more Bahamut. Damn, Cecil's doing a lot of damage. Like I said, he needs to be healed. Of course, he keeps on getting hit when he normally wouldn't get hit if he was jumping. But still, he needs to be healed. And then hopefully he can get into the air when he is healed. Yeah, still not really good enough. Still not good enough. Go Bahamut! Uh, Ogo Pogo. For some reason, uh, I do know this one. Ogo Pogo is actually uh, a kind of a Loch Ness, Loch Ness monster type creature up in the, the northwest, I believe. Oh. No, just one? Just one. Yeah, you need to stay on the ground. You need to be healed once again. He's uh, supposed to be a mythical monster residing in a lake. Uh, so, there you go. You know, I'm sure a lot of people will tell me he's not mythical. He's real. But I haven't seen him. Neither have a lot of other people. So I'm going to go with mythical. That's just my story. Come on, kill four. <laughs> Damn it, I need everybody. Out there full potential go Bahamut is Bahamut gonna be enough to take out Ogopogo yes he is down goes Ogopogo and you get 12,220 experience which is which is nice but it's too bad I, I wanted to keep saying Ogopogo but instead we get the Masamune it's a very fun name to say, Ogopogo. Uh, so, let's go ahead and equip that on Edge. Um, since I'm playing, I'm pretty much keeping him in the back row because his defense sucks. 55 as opposed to 73. It's, it's, yeah, it's, it's not good enough for Edge. It's not good enough. So, I'm going to keep him in the back row, keep the full moon on him. I know that's probably not the smartest thing, but really, I'm, I'm not really concerned about his damage so much anymore not at this point in the game so from 149 on the Murasame to 257 and uh, defense goes uh, down a bit but that's even more reason to keep him in the back row 157 attack uh, now really like I was saying now, I am actually going to go back to the save point one last time before we head down the scary, scary staircase here, and I'll meet you in just one second. Okay, with that resting and saving 
done, I think we are ready to move on. Have I mentioned that, if my memory serves me correctly, was this last save point of the game? Which makes me very, very nervous. But in this treasure chest here, we get an elixir. Very, very nice. So, let's keep moving on. I see a teleporter down there. That will be my final destination. Let's just try to keep going, though. Grab myself a whistle. H hooray. I wanted a whistle, didn't, didn't I? I swear I wanted a whistle. Let's keep going. Uh, can't get that one just yet, so let's head over here. And down these stairs over here, we can grab ourselves more ninja stars. Well, one more, which is good enough as more. All right, let's head over here. Grab ourselves another ninja star. Can I just head down this way? It looks like I should be able to. I can. No need to take the stairs in your confusing layout. All right, let's move forward then. We can head down onto this teleporter into a giant room with a very nice background. I do love the background here. It's very inspiring, I think. And we have a new enemy. This is uh, Breath here. Um, I have turned up the battle speed and the battle message speed, by the way, because, well, things were going rather slow for me. They had been for, for some time, and I've been meaning to turn that up. And I remembered as we were going through this, through these fights. Now, with Breath, pretty much you just want to do damage to him. It doesn't really matter. He's just going to keep peeping at you all the damn time. So don't waste any MP on him. In fact, if you do, he'll counter. So just keep doing physical attacks, which is not necessarily Rydia and Rose's strong points. Just keeps on peeping. Just keeps on peeping. Jump on him then. Just jump on his ass. So yes, I have sped up the, the, the battle speed and battle message speed, so I apologize if you can't read it. Probably should have aimed with her, not that it's really that relevant. She's not doing that much damage. Anyway, yes, he just keeps paping. This is uh, known as Zenus's breath uh, in later, later versions of the game. Why didn't I have him jump? I'm just in such a rush to get through this guy that I'm not using the tactics that I necessarily should. Pape, once again. Just peep, 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 peep. Just fight. Did regular attack can do more damage than the aim? Jump on his ass. You have clearly peeped on everybody. I don't know why you're still doing that. Let's see. There we go. And down goes Zemus' breath. And he does a slow dissolve like a boss. I don't understand why he does that at all to be honest with you but for the fight you get 50,000 gil, 12,000 experience Cecil has gained a level very very nice uh, now don't worry I will turn the, the battle message speed back down to where it was before before we start going into some of the more important fights and now we have mind here oh he actually wants to fight how very nice of you oh fine I see. Casts armor on himself. So let's go with fire three. See if that helps you with your whatever problem. No! Holy crap, you can do it on two people! Damn, that did a lot of damage. Go fire three! There we go, there's some decent damage. Stop hitting each other, Hedging Kane! I need you at your best! To get an armor, which didn't seem to work that time for him. Let's just keep going for regular attacks. He's not doing that much damage to me that I need to be overly concerned about it. Uh, we can just keep going with the, uh, the level 3 spells here. Armor still doesn't work. No! Not them! Damn it! <laughs> Exit? What? Oh, forget you, Cecil. Forget you. So we have gotten out of the fight. Not the way that I wanted to, though. Okay, let's move forward one step and then get into a fight with another mind. Hooray. This could...
could be bad. Uh, let's go ahead and just try to go all out on this guy because uh, this guy has some nasty abilities. Charm. Oh, damn you. Oh, look out. No, screw it. We're running. We're, we're running here. No, run. Uh, no. If he gets right here, we're, like, freaking screwed, I swear to God. Run. Run. Run, damn you. Thank you. We got out of there. I am going to, to heal everybody up. 